Hi Internet, in this short video I want to show you how to install Kandu on macOS. Kandu that's the cross-platform free and open source Pi menu which I'm currently developing. It's still a young project but already quite a lot of fun to work with. And if you want to try out Kandu on macOS as well, then you should watch this video. First you should open the GitHub page of Kandu. The link is in the description of this video. And on that page you will find um, here on the right hand side the link to the latest release. And if you click on this you will see all the files for this latest release. And on macOS you are most likely interested in the disk image files, the DMG files up here. If you are on Apple Silicon hardware you should download the ARM64 DMG file. And if you are on Intel hardware you should download the x64 disk image file. There's also a zip file down here which does not require any installation, which you can also choose to download. For this video I will download both of them. I'm on Intel hardware, therefore I'm downloading the x64 variants. Let's wait a couple of seconds until the files are downloaded. The zip files will get extracted automatically by Safari. So let's have a look at the zip file first. Alright here, Safari already extracted the zip file and therefore the application is now ready to be launched. To start Kandu just double click on the application. When you do this for the very first time a dialog will pop up asking you whether you really want to run this application which you downloaded from the internet. And once Kandu is running you will see a new tray icon up here and if you click on that tray icon you will see that you can open the example menu using the control space hotkey. And if you press this hotkey, the example menu will indeed pop up at your mouse pointer. In addition, you will see a sidebar here on the left hand side, which contains some useful information, for instance some tutorial videos down here, or some um, useful links, for instance to our Discord server, which you are invited to join. For now, let's close the sidebar. You can explore this example menu, but soon you should start creating your own menus which are adapted to your needs and to your workflows. If you play around with this example menu, you will soon realize that some of the actions are not working. So for instance, if I select this next workspace item here, a dialog will pop up telling you that Kandu requires accessibility permissions. This is because to simulate keyboard presses, accessibility permissions are required on macOS. So when this pops up, simply click the open system preferences button here and then you will need to unlock this dialog here by pressing on this lock icon down here. Enter your password and then check the checkbox here in front of Kandu. And if Kandu is not already in the list, you will have to click on this plus button here and select the Kandu application which you downloaded before. And once this is done, the actions will work as expected. However, we are not fully done yet because Kandu also requires the screen recording permissions. And why that is, I will show you in a second. Kandu comes with a very powerful feature, which is application dependent menus. So if you open the menu editor down here, then you can select for each menu under which circumstances it should be shown. So for instance, you can limit an Pi menu to a specific application. So if you check this here and press that button, this entry will be filled with the name of the app which had input, fo input focus when you opened Kandu. So now this example menu will only be shown if the system preferences application has currently input focus. Let's quickly try this. So click on done, close the menu editor. And if I'm now here with my mouse and this has focus, the menu opens. And if I'm here, the menu does not open when I press the hot key. This will be sufficient most of the time, however there are cases where you actually want to make your menus dependent on the window title and not only on the application's name. So for instance with window title dependent menus you could create individual Pi menus for each of the tabs you have open in your web browser. To create a window title dependent menu you would need to check this checkbox here instead. And if you now try to fill in this entry here with the currently focused uh, window you will see that it doesn't work. And that is because Kandu does not have the screen recording permissions. For some weird reason it seems that getting an application's title requires screen recording permissions on macOS. So to fix this simply add Kandu to the screen recording permissions. And macOS will kindly restart Kandu on your behalf here. 
And once this is done, the button for getting the name of the currently focused window will indeed work. And now we have a menu which will be shown only for windows which have downloads in their name. Finally, let's have a look how to install Kandu using the disk image file. For this I will quit Kandu first and then to install Kandu using the disk image file just double click on this file. The installation screen will pop up and here you simply have to drag Kandu to your applications directory. Once done you will find Kandu in your launchpad. And if you click on this for the first time again this dialog will pop up asking you whether you really want to launch this application. Just click on open and Kandu will be started. If you install Kandu using the disk image file, you will need to set up the permissions in the same way as we did before for the zip file. So this will be exactly the same process as I've shown before. All right, that's it for now. I hope you have as much fun using Kandu as I have creating it. And if you have any issues or comments, just drop a note here either on YouTube or join our Discord server, to which the link is in this video's description. And on this Discord server, we already have a small macOS community, which will surely help you if you have any questions or issues. And besides, we have a new release of Kandu just around the corner. So if you want to get notified when this release drops, you should either subscribe here on YouTube or follow me on my Kofi page, to which the link is also in this video's description. All right, that's it for now. Have fun using Kandu and see you next time. Bye.